To avoid four thicknesses of sheeting at the junctions of side and end laps, it is necessary for two of the sheets at each junction to be mitered at the corners so that they lie in the same plane. This eliminates an entire layer of fibre cement to prevent water ingress and stress in the sheets caused by warping. The measurements for the mitres are dictated by the end and side laps of the sheets, which for P6 in standard conditions are 150mm and 70mm. All mitres should be cut at ground level using a hand saw or reciprocating power saw with blades at a 3 to 3.5 mil tooth pitch. The dust caused by cutting should be classed as nuisance and non-hazardous industrial waste and appropriate PPE should be used. Ideally, the gap between mitres should be a minimum of 3 mm to a maximum of 6 mm. The mitre joint is then covered by the top sheet and is thus waterproof and unseen. Some fittings, such as crank crown pieces, also require mitering.